Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Glasses. In this video, I am going to show you the lab activity related to the calibration of pH meter. How we are going to do the calibration of pH meter and why it is important. And in addition, calibration is important for most of the equipments. But in pH meter, we are doing the two point calibration. And for the calibration of the pH meter, we do require the buffer solutions. So I am also going to tell you how to prepare the buffer solutions from the capsules we purchased. And in addition to that, I am also going to tell you how to prepare the buffer solutions in the laboratory as well as with the help of the chemicals. Right. So let's start with the calibration of pH meter. But before the lab activity, I am going to tell you the concept of the calibration of pH meter. So for the pH meter, we need to do the two point calibration and this calibration has to be done to compensate for any kind of deviation from the ideal values which may occur due to the non ideal behavior of the different potential sources. So what are the different potential sources that I have already discussed in my previous video? Here two point calibration means we are doing the zero point calibration as well as slope calibration. So here you can see the axis on X axis. I have drawn the pH values and on the Y axis. I have drawn the potential values in millivolts and here are the numbers 0, 7 and 14 on the pH scale, right? So suppose we are having pH meter and we are just placing our sample. So in the absence of calibration, we may have this is just an hypothetical situation and we may have this kind of response. So this is occur before the calibration. Now we are going to take the buffer solution of pH 7 and we place our electrode of pH meter into this solution. And then we need to set the value of pH meter as pH 7 with the help of the knob, which is given over there. I will show you later on in the lab activity in detail. So at that moment, what we are going to do actually at pH 7, the value of the electrode potential needs to be zero because the concentration of H plus ions and OH minus ions are exactly equal. So the value of the potential should be zero. So that is why we do this zero point calibration and it is also known as zero point calibration and we have this kind of shift. At pH 7, we have this potential, but we need to have the potential value should be zero at pH 7. So that is why we do this first kind of calibration, which is known as zero point calibration with the help of the buffer solution of pH 7. And for this zero point calibration, the pH transmitter is matched with the zero point of the electrode. Now coming to the next, next is slope calibration. So here you can see the values in the previous case. We have zero value, but here I have written six and seven pH values, right? This is not for the scaling. And here this is the difference of one pH unit. And as you know, on one E on every pH unit, the potential of the electrode changes by 59.2 millivolts. So here in the absence of calibration, if I just put my buffer solution of pH 4 or pH 9, I may get this kind of response. As we know that if the pH changes by one unit, the potential changes by 59.2 according to the NAST equation. And this I have already discussed in my previous video. I will give you the link in the description box of that. So we are just going to set this value and uh, this potential value will change from if it is 56 or something else then it can be changed to the desired value which is calculated from the relationship between the electrode potential and pH and for this calibration the pH transmitter is matched to the slope value of the electrode. Now let us see the lab activity how we are going to do the. Now we are going to prepare the buffer solutions. So we are preparing buffer solution 4 and buffer solution of pH 7 with the help of the capsules. So these capsules are purchased from the market 
and these are sealed in this kind of sample bottles so I have taken out pH buffer 4 and I am just taking it very carefully the salt which is inside this capsule of buffer 4 and it is of red color because acid shows red color on the litmus paper and here I am just going to add the distilled water and shake it well to dissolve it so it is now soluble now I am going to add or make up the solution up to 100 ml or given mark with the help of the deionized water so here very carefully I am going to add the distilled water up to the mark so you can see now I am taking out the buffer pH 7 and I open it very carefully and I am just taking the salt out on the paper and now preparing the solution with deionized water or distilled water and now I am shaking it well so one observation which I have made here is it has bubbles right so I leave it there and I make up after some time now in the sample bottle I'll first rinse with the solution and now I fill the solution in the sample bottle of pH 4 and pH 7 respectively now calibration of pH meter so first I will wash the electrode of the pH meter and I wipe it off with the tissue paper gently and now I put my electrode in the buffer solution of pH 7 so here we are going to first do the zero point calibration so here with the help of this knob I am just going to set the value as pH 7 now I again wash the electrode and I put it in the pH solution of 4 so here we are doing the slope calibration with the help of this pH buffer 4 so you can check on your pH meter whether it is given 4 or 9 so that would be better actually so this is again I washed the electrode and wiped off gently with the help of tissue paper and kept it in the pH buffer 7 just to set the value by itself so here you can see it is 6.7 and now I again repeat the procedure I wash it wiped off with the help of the tissue paper and put it in pH buffer 4 and I will wait till the value is reached up to 4 pH so it may take time so here it is buffer 4 now I again wipe off this after washing and now put it in the pH 7 and I will wait till it is set by itself without changing the knobs right so once I get the actual values so here it is about to reach pH 6 pH 7 and now I wash it and I will again put my electrode in the pH 4 and here we will wait till it is reached up to 4 without changing so here we achieve the values now it is calibrated perfectly now I put this electrode in the buffer of pH 9 so it we get the actual value of the buffer of pH 9 if you do not have the already available buffer capsules with you then you can prepare your own buffer solutions which is given by the National Bureau of Standards here the values are given so these are the chemicals which we require to prepare the solutions of different pH and here are the pH values which you can see and these values are at pH 25 degree centigrade and these are the molar values of the salts in which composition we need to prepare the solution so for this uh, pH 4.006 we need to prepare the potassium hydrogen phthalate solution of 0.05 molar 
So what is molal? Molal solution is nothing but it is weight by weight. In molar solutions, we are having weight by volume and in molal solutions, we are having weight by weight. I have written weight of the salt in 1000 grams of distilled water. So this much gram of potassium hydrogen thalate, this is its molecular formula and this is its name need to be dissolved in the 1000 grams of distilled water right to prepare the buffer solution of ph 6.863 this is the molality of the solution for each that is for potassium dihydrogen phosphate and di disodium hydrogen phosphate this much gram of this potassium dihydrogen phosphate and this much grams of disodium hydrogen phosphate need to be dissolved in 1000 grams so first we will take this much of grams and separately we are getting this 1000 grams and we are added these two and similarly we can prepare the buffer of ph 7.415 and buffer of ph 9.180 these values and the methods are given in the national bureau of standards right so i hope you find this video helpful and uh, if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel thank you all thanks for watching